when I saw when I saw the victory and I saw how it felt the people throwing pictures at me and asking me for photograph and all that I said wow this is the way it is when you're famous so I wanted to keep on winning that's why I put my mind and kept on training and then I went that's when I said now I want to be a boxer Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, that's that's not right. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, I, I, there's a comment here that I like to show uh, because the, yeah. this is where my question is because you said you've been sparring and yeah. uh, Tyson is coming back. You're still 45. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibition. Well, have you thought about? Uh, do you miss boxing? Like, no, you know what? The professional. I, used to, I, mm -hmm. could, I could tell you I missed it at, at the beginning, but when mm -hmm. you start boxing or you keep on training, and you and you know that it's already you're too old for this, or when you start getting punches in the ring, and you get down, and the next day you wake up in the morning all messed up. That's when you start saying, "This is not for me no more." I retire. I don't want to see. I don't want to feel this way. Uh, <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm glad that I'm doing all this stuff because it maintained my mind up the in the retire and don't make me come back because I'm I'm feeling that this is not no more that I could do. I could keep on surviving what I'm doing, so I don't need boxing. Or I don't need to box to mm. be back in the money. I could yeah. do already what I did. I did it. I'm not gonna be a. I'm not a rich person, but I got a good house. I got my, a good car. I got my job that I could pay what I did in boxing, and I just now gotta give time for the boxers and win money with them. Like they want money with me. Now I got. Now I'm on the trainer. Now I get a ten percent of everything they do. So why ain't I gotta box? <laughs> I just right, need yeah. a, I just need a money back to give me a ten percent of his job, and I retire <laughs> for everything. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's correct, <good. laughs> and and that that is great to hear from uh from a world champion. Uh, yeah, most of the times uh in the Philippines, some uh of the boxers that I that I've met that I know, you know, after boxing they're having a hard time. Uh, like they, they would have to work. They, you know, they, you know, they they can't sustain their lifestyle. But you, you're you're doing a great uh, job. What what do you miss most about when you were still boxing? My friend, my friend, and the press always on top of you. When you when you feel that, you feel you feel real important. And and but at least in Puerto Rico, when I still walk around. People still know me. Oh, look who's there, the world champion. And and they still treat me like I, I was still fighting. People don't even understand. People sometimes, they don't even know that I'm retired. They're like asking me, when is your next fight? I'm like, I'm already been retired seven years, man. Oh, my God, I, I didn't knew that. So they still think <laughs> I'm fighting because I'm still on TV. I'm still commentating. They see me on the fights with the, the boxers. So they still think I'm still boxing or they still think – I'm in the boxing career yet. Yeah. I'm All in the right. boxing uh, career, but not like a fighter. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I mean, once you're a champion, once you gain that fans, that fans will be there until you get yeah. old. They will remember your fights and, you know, they will ask when you will fight. <laughs> so, yeah. um, but the, um, it's, it's been a while. You, you, you know, eight years ago, you stopped boxing. I, I need to ask you, how, how did you start uh being a boxer what what uh what's the reason why i i started first i used to fight a lot in the school i used to fight a lot in school like every boxers and they opened a gym in my in my where, where i lived that in Wainawa. and my brother told me let's go to that gym i want to i want to yes. see i want to i want to box i said yeah i'll go with you but i don't want to i don't want to be a boxer i don't like boxing i used to tell him that i don't like boxing so I went with him. So he spar they put him the first day to spar. The first day to spar. And uh -huh. they broke his nose, they broke his nose. And I saw that. And next day I say, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna start training. And then when I started training and I had the bag, the trainer, it was Juan Nazario, ex world champion's brother, used to be my trainer. Freddie, he died already. And uh -huh. when he started, when he saw me hitting the bag. He, he asked me, 
he used to box, and I said, no, I never boxed before. And he said, but you got style, you look good. I said, no, that's when I started boxing. And, and then I did three fights. I lost my two first fights, like I am to, I lost them. And then my uh -huh. third fight, I didn't want her to go to a weigh-in. And then he told me, let's go. You, I never get nobody for you because your weight is so low, you was 100 pounds. So I said, all right, let me go. When I went, that was my first fight that I won by knockout. And and wow. when I saw when I saw the victory and I saw how it felt, the people throwing pictures at me and asking me for photograph and all that, I said, "Wow, this is the way it is when you're famous." So I wanted to keep on winning. That's why I put my mind and kept on training. And then I went. That's when I said, "Now I want to be a boxer." That's a great attitude, Ivan. Uh, you lost your first two amateur fights and then you did not stop. And then once you won, once you felt that. Winning attitude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when I felt that, that winning attitude, that was another thing. That was a good feeling. Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.